we're going to welcome one of our CMC changemakers. Anishwa Konchala is a conservation and wildlife campaigning phenomenon. At only seven years old, he's already won multiple awards for his work building awareness and inspiring young and old on his YouTube channel and in mainstream media to protect the planet and its living things. He's a Blue Peter Gold Badge recipient, and you may know him best from his latest adventure, making it all the way to the final of Britain's Got Talent. Anishwa has some things he wants to say to all of us. But first, let's remind ourselves how he made it into the hearts and minds of huge numbers of the British public. <laughs> Britain's Got Talent, the big final. Next up tonight is the seven-year-old conservationist who stole everyone's heart in Friday's semi-final. His words came straight from the heart. And his jacket came straight from Dex's wardrobe. Happy to help. <laughs> it's Anishwa Kunchala. I made it to the final, woo! My name is Anishwa and I'm seven years old. My talent is writing poems about the animals and saving the planet. It's me! It's poems! When David surprised me at school, it felt amazing, like, whoa! I never thought I'll be performing on BGT. My first audition was nerve-wracking. So there's no other planet like Earth. This is the moment when the world met Anishwa. I was like, wow, I can't believe I'm in the semi-finals. And it's our job to do something. It was pure, utter magic. I do think we need to help Anishwa with his crusade. Prince Got Tank has been the best of the best experiences. Tonight, I get to do another poem. Woohoo! If I win, I'll be the youngest person ever win BGT, and Dad and Mum would be super proud. Wish me luck! I'm sure Mum and Dad are super proud. Children's Media Conference, will you please welcome the David Attenborough for the next generation, Anishwa Kunchala. <laughs> I'm going to be talking to you today about inspiration. My inspiration is the natural world and all that lives on it. Every animal has its own superpower. Ants are a symbol of perseverance. Wolves show how we can connect by working as a team. And the lion is a symbol of courage and strength. And these animals really inspire me. Humans have superpowers too. We can be kind and caring and find amazing clever ways of tackling bad problems like climate change. But we can also be mean and selfish too. We need to protect our Mother Earth. She needs our help. The polar bears are disappearing because the ice is melting. Fishes, corals and marine world cannot breathe due to oil spills. Puffins, gannets and guillemots can't flap their wings covered in the slimy coats. The toxic gases all around us overpowering the fresh smells of the lavender. The trees are working hard, sucking up all the bad air and giving us healthy air. But it's sad to see loggers cutting down the trees, which is just not fair. Are we not destroying ourselves? 
There's only one thing that can save the natural world. Conservation. Yes, you heard me right, conservation. <laughs> this is how I would like to see the world. Lots of willow trees, magnificent big ponds, and don't forget, majestic dragonflies with wonderful little dippers darting around the riverbed. Egg roots gliding. Herons waiting for yummy little fishes for dinner. And the wonderful golden eagle swooping in to take a bath. And waterfalls scuttling around the area. Isn't this a beautiful creation? I got interested in the natural world by watching my heroes, Steve Backshaw and David Attenborough on BBC, YouTube and other social media and also by reading lots and lots of books. It helped me because they showed the beauty of many animals like monarch butterflies would have an array of colours to warn predators that they are poisonous. Not just for learning, social media is also helping me because if there was no YouTube, Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, I wouldn't be able to spread my message to the world. <laughs> Considering the severity and urgency, this is not enough. We need more from you all. I wish there were more documentaries about the environment, climate change, featuring kids like me. So our generation would be able to make a huge difference. I'm doing this using social media, but need your support to take this over to major TV channels, games and theatres. What I dream is children leading the wildlife documentaries. Can you make this happen? Because we children are more connected into the natural world and we can show you the world through our eyes. Please to Please help to inspire the kids who are watching, listening and reading to all be conservationists too. Oh, and one more tip, guys. When you're making these amazing shows, please be eco-friendly. Recycle, reuse, plant trees and conserve energy because there's not much point of making shows about saving the planet. The shows are damaging the planet, right? Please help, to, please help kids like me to inspire future generations and show them how they can save the animals and make sure the Earth looks beautiful because there's no other planet like Earth. I'm Anishwa and with your support, we can all hope for a better planet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you everyone. Um, as if it's not unkind enough to get somebody as their first uh, event after the pandemic to come out in front of 800 people, they get me to do it after the most brilliant seven-year-old on the planet. <laughs> Thanks, my PR team will be looking for new jobs tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> good evening everybody and, and thank you Anishwa. Thank you for your inspiration. Thank you for sharing your ideas, your dreams, and for reminding us all of the power of children's media to inspire. What an absolutely fantastic start to a conference such as this. Now, like many of you in the room, I'm sure, I love your observations on the natural world. 
But your words also remind me and force me to reflect on what creativity looked like when I was seven. Now, Anishwa can produce professional level content about birds and bugs and bees and share it instantly with his audience and his peers all around the world. It wasn't always thus. Growing up in a small village in Northamptonshire, my friends and I, if we were lucky, could borrow a Video 8 camera, make a few minutes of film, and share it with anyone who was sitting with us in the living room. That was it. In the analog world, young people's ideas and inspirations moved at the speed of a school photocopier or playground jokes. Now we live in a connected world. And no matter where on earth young people are growing up, part of their childhood is very likely being spent in, in Great Britain. The Shire, Hogwarts, Dougie's Clubhouse. The UK is home to or inspiration for some of the best-loved children's media brands all around the world.